The following advice is relevant to the COVID mRNA BNT 162B2 vaccination, or as we are now going to call it, the Pfizer vaccination. Given the rapid changing nature of the COVID-19 vaccinations and the advice that we have, please make sure you check with the team that are vaccinating you for any further updates. The Pfizer vaccination has been approved by the MRHA and is estimated to be 95% effective at protecting you against COVID infection. The Pfizer vaccination will need to be drawn up at site and you'll be given 0.3 mils of solution into your upper arm, similar to most other vaccinations that you may have had in the past. You will need to have a second vaccination 21 days after your first dose to be fully protected. And it may take up to seven days following that second dose for you to be fully protected. Following your vaccination, you may be requested to wait for at least 15 minutes or longer depending on your individual health issues. There may be further additional requirements you may have to follow. However, do discuss this with the vaccinating team if you have any questions. Side effects of the Pfizer vaccination. Most side effects are mild and moderate and will go away after several days of appearing. If side effects such as pain or fever are troublesome, these can be treated with simple medications like paracetamol available over the counter. Side effects may occur with the following frequency. Very common side effects will occur in more than one in 10 people that have the vaccination. These include pain at the site of injection, headaches, chills, joint pain, tiredness, and fever. Common side effects occur in 1 in 10 people that have the vaccination. These include swelling and or redness at the site of injection and nausea. Uncommon side effects occur in 1 in 100 people having the vaccination and these include enlarged lymph nodes and feeling unwell. Reporting of side effects is very important and you should be advised of how to do this at the time that you have the vaccination. This may include discussing it with either your doctor, your nurse, or your local pharmacist. If you get side effects not listed in this video, then you may report these using the yellow card format with the MRHA website. The link to that is available here. Additionally, you may also download the apps to the Google Play or Amazon App Store and use those. By reporting these side effects, you help to provide more information about the safety of this vaccine. For more specific information about the safety and use of this vaccination for yourself individually, please contact the local team that will be vaccinating you, and they may signpost you to further details or resources for information. If you'd like to learn more about the other vaccines available, please have a look at the available videos right here.